of a former aide to the New York City First Lady, Shirley McRae, is facing a manslaughter charge in New Jersey. Police say it appears he was the target of robbers and then fatally stabbed an attacker. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell live in Edgewater with more this morning. Janelle? Well, Chris, attorneys for Kari Nordlinger say he's actually one of the victims in this case, and they say they fully intend to, quote, vigorously fight the charges against him. This has been a shocking turn of events after this deadly altercation. An ordinarily bustling stretch of Old River Road in Edgewater swarming with sheriff investigators. Parents picking up their young kids from daycare Monday evening forced to walk around a bloody crime scene, a botched robbery that ended with a 16-year-old boy dead. It's just uh, unimaginable that something of this kind would, would happen here. Investigators have arrested and charged 19-year-old Kari Nordlinger for the death. Nordlinger lives in this Edgewater apartment building with his mother, Rachel Nordlinger, a former aide to New York City First Lady Sherlane McRae. They say it's where Kari was confronted by a group of young adults around 10.30 Sunday night. Nordlinger apparently tried to fight off his alleged attackers, including 16-year-old Savian Llewellyn of Spring Valley, New York. Investigators say Nordlinger stabbed Llewellyn in the leg, severing an artery. Llewellyn later died in an area hospital. Four other suspects, also from Rockland County, are under arrest, accused of trying to hide evidence after the altercation. I'm shocked. I mean, I, I've worked two jobs seven days a week to live here because it's a safe neighborhood. And for this to happen, it's like, it just goes to show no place is safe. Elaine Reno lives next door to the Nordlingers. In 2014, Kari Nordlinger was arrested for criminal trespass. Later that year, his mother stepped down from her job, she said, in part to spend more time with her son. It's shocking. I just can't even imagine. Now, for this recent incident, Kari Nordlinger has been charged with manslaughter as well as weapon possession. He's being held on half a million dollars bail. As for the other four suspects, they are also being held at Bergen County Jail on $750,000 bail this morning. Reporting live from Edgewater, New Jersey, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Janelle, thank you. Five, five.